Okay, here we are tonight on a job, and we're just on top of a lift car, which I've just got into position, and we're just going to have a bit of a look through here. This is a pretty old lift, it doesn't have any uh, shaft lighting like today's newer lifts, but uh, what we're looking at here is the lift in between floors, and we have a door operator, which consists of a motor, which is pointing downwards, and when this motor spins, it turns a cog at the bottom and then it turns a sprocket, which then drives a chain and runs the door operator. And there's what is the chain there, that chain there, and the chain here. And it just runs the sprockets and moves the doors, it's all hitched on. Um, with inside the operator box, it's very simple. All we've got here is just a a car gate switch. It's pretty hard to see. Just adjust this light. We've got a car gate switch just over here in this position here. And then with inside the box there are a combination of switches. Um, we have a closed door limit, a closed slowing limit, and then coming along there is just over here a micro switch, which is the open door limit, and that's actually set because the door is open and we'll just get this door to close over and there it is, it just closes over like that and with the doors closed we just got basically the the car door vanes or as some people call them spades or spears and then over here there's a pickup device here this apparatus down here it's pretty hard to see because the light's very poor there's better that apparatus there that you can see is the pickup which meshes the car door with the landing door and when they mesh together those spears will open up the locks from these rollers which you can just sort of see up there and there is a landing door fixed spear where the apparatus just meshes the car and landing doors and looking on top of the lift car it's pretty basic and there's just a top of car control box where the lift can be placed onto um, rooftop control or some people call it inspection tiny little rollers they're only about three inch in diameter over here an arrangement of inductors and these are opto type inductors um, where by when the inductor passes through these metal plates there's an infrared beam within the inductor which just activates as it goes through the plates and it just act activates a reed switch to turn on all the uh, leveling signals for leveling up, leveling down, stopping in either direction and to give a door zone and this lift is actually a uh, an under an under an underslung, or as I call it sometimes an underhung. Then you can just see the limit switches. But over here, what happens is the ropes are anchored, as you can see. They run down underneath the lift car, and then from underneath the lift car, they come back up. They go around and over this sheave and then from there it goes down this rope to another sheave which is on top of the counterweight which then comes back up and around to this other sheave back down wraps around the hoist motor sheave which is downstairs in the basement and then of course that rope comes back up and it is hitched right there and here we have is just a, a governor idle sheave because the main governor is down at the bottom within the motor room and then just a few other things there an alarm bell an old emergency power light unit there of course is your trapdoor switch with a safety switch just the top of car fan and uh, that's basically it and over here we've got a door scanner unit 
It's a TL Jones, which is made in New Zealand, and basically you've just got the uh, receiver and the transmitter over here on the doors, just there and there. Those flexors come up and they just plug into the box. So that way anybody that's going to walk through the door while it's closing can have it reopening and there is no impact placed upon persons trying to enter or exit the lift car. So once again, something a little bit different. And there's the top of the shaft. Thanks for viewing.